How's it going, everyone? Do you want to know what I'm doing right now? Check this out. <laughs> okay, that's... How's it going, everyone? And welcome to a special video in Geometry Dash. Aren't all my videos special? In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the Rob Top levels, but we're going to be playing versions of the levels that swap out the cube for the robot. So... And whenever there's cube, there's going to be robot, which is certainly more prominent in the earlier levels, like the first like 13 or 14 levels. So let's just get started. We're just going to go to the first one here, Stereo Madness Robot, which I confirmed was Stereo Madness, uh, but using the robot. However, the background sure isn't Stereo Madness. <laughs> it doesn't look like, you know, it looks like the Geometrical Dominator background, which is fine as long as the gameplay is the same. Now, this this does seem kind of easy right you'd think to yourself eric what's the challenge here now when you're a cube you jump a set distance and all these jumps that are in the earlier levels are basically just made for the cube they're made to be easy for the cube with the robot though you can't just hold down the button and do maximum height jumps you need to jump the exact correct height um, for all the jumps here. So it is a little bit, it's, it's harder. It's quite a lot harder doing that consistently, you know, like these tiny little hops. And when I get to parts with where there's spikes, like it's easy to jump too far. Um, triple spikes are easier though, <laughs> but I could accidentally jump too far and then jump into like a spike that's further up. So you really got to control your height for these jumps. I actually almost died there. <laughs> and so, you know, Oh my, well, that was actually pretty tough because there were the spikes above me. <laughs> Yo, I mean, like Stereo Madness itself, it's the first level. It's pretty easy, but it, this is going to get harder. Okay, this is going to get much harder. Uh, I forget where I had this idea. It was on a stream or something. I was streaming like Necropolis and I, I thought to myself, imagine if we played... Uh, these levels and swapped out the cube for the robot. I've heard other people have done this, but I mean, everyone's done. Everyone's done something or other on YouTube. It's hard to be completely original these days, but I try. Back on track robot, let's go. Okay, back on track robot, cool, we got it. You can leave now. Like, I get it, okay. <laughs> I get it, wait a sec, is this different? No, 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 it's, it's the same, okay, that's cool. I mean, yeah, there's going to be, it's hopefully these are as close to the originals as possible. They're not going to be one-to-one. -one. I imagine some of them might have like a couple things that are like mildly different, but overall, as long as they're like 99% the same, like who really cares, right? Uh, I think I got reminded of doing this when I was doing the, uh, what was it like the UFO map packs? And I was like, hey, UFO game mode for these is quite fun. A lot of people hate those levels so much. And then I thought, you know what? I, I definitely got to do this for the robot someday. It's what what a fun challenge, you know? Yeah, yeah. And still back on track, pretty easy. Or is it? Or is it? Oh, see, look at that. You got to jump right in there. This is what I'm talking about. The cube, you just click the button and you go into there like a glove. You fit so easily. But with the robot actually having to like not jump too high. Yeah. 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 Getting a little bit harder, huh? Polar guy's robot. Let's go. These are all made by different people, huh? <laughs> like, you'd think that one person would have just made, like, the robot levels for every single level. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's Polar Geist, but it's already starting to get a little hard. Damn. Damn, son. Look, you got to do, like, these small jumps to get over there. This is wild, dude. Like, I knew this was going to be more challenging, but it's already getting really difficult. Like, imagine levels like, uh, like X-Step, you know, where you're like, why are, why am I the wave? I guess I'm the wave instead of the ship, you know, which is, I mean, cool. This part doesn't even really matter because, uh, you know, it's, it's a non-robot part. We're just here for that robot action. So, so yeah, like whatevs. All right, geez. Yeah, this is, this is going to get hectic later on for sure. See, I don't know when it comes to levels like like Hexagon Force or something like that. Like, I actually don't know if there's going to be levels where like the cubes replaced with the robot because I'm trying to think. There's like the dual cube. There's the ending cube section. Ooh, that jump was hard. <laughs> there's the ending cube section and the beginning cube section. And like, that's it, I think. 
So I mean, I, oh, 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 oh my God. We're starting to get real tight. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm in focus mode here. I don't want to lose here. <gasps> Dude, what? I had to jump higher? Yeah, this is, this is, okay. Come on. Jump up high here. <laughs> Wait, hey, that's supposed to be the end. Whoa, whoa, what's up with this extra percentage? I was actually super scared. I was so close to the end when I died the first time. Damn. Wow, you gotta do, like, sometimes the jumps look like they're not gonna be that high, but they are, you know? Like, at the end, you have to do not max height, but you gotta do, like, pretty high jumps to get through those. Even though you wanna make sure you're not jumping too high. That's, that's tough. Dry out robot, let's go. Oof. Now we're going upside down, which, I mean, isn't that much harder. I wonder if there's any cheese, because normally there's, like, certain jumps with a cube that you, you, you can't get that high. Like, I wonder if there's, like, cheese where you can actually just jump over certain obstacles as the, uh... I could, I could have probably jumped over those, you know? Like, I wonder. Or jumped over that. Whoa, son! You have to jump so fast there. Holy crap! These levels are gonna get disgustingly hard. This is... This is wild, man. Having, like, those spikes on the top for no reason are... Whew. Oh... Yo, big, big jump down. I, I totally skipped a platform. Oh my goodness. That was so rough, dude. What? Hey, dude. I, I jumped too high on that like jump ring and I went too far. Wow. That was something I did not expect. Dude, that doesn't even work. Oh, you. Mm. Okay, that I think that's bugged on 240 hertz. I have to try out a new one. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, see, that's normally bugged. So in this version, are you? <laughs> is this bugged too? Come on, dude. Why is this all bugged? A new plan here. New plan. Yeah, you got to jump over that. Okay. I see how that works. Okay. Now let's not die, please. Please. It's taken me a while to figure this out. Yes, ship part lasts for a very long time. There's a little bit of uh, cube or robot part at the end, but... I'd better get it this time. I've been on this way too long trying to get past that bug, not knowing what to do. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Please, 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 please. Oh, that could have... No, 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 no. Oh, that's bugged. God damn it, you... Okay, you know, I think I'm just going to consider that beaten because all these robot levels are bugged. Ah! Okay, so we'll do base after base robo. <laughs> There's no robot, just robo. Uh, Let's go. Base after base robo secret way. I'm not taking the secret way. So let's let's do it. V-Sync is now turned back on. Dry out so close to the end, um, but unfortunately the bugs got us. Um, hopefully none of the other levels are super buggy, you know? Hopefully the creators of these robot levels um, found the bugs and decided not to put them in. Even on 60 hertz that bugged out, so I, mean, I don't know. And I didn't see any way to get around it, like... There was no way to skip that jump. Or pull, okay. Now, now we're flying. Jeez, this is nuts, dude. Base after base robot. So many precise jumps to get into these places, like these one block gaps and under these spikes, but it's still possible. No bugs. See, this is what a robot level should be like. I wonder why, like, I wonder why dry out was so bugged on the robot on like two different versions that I played. Like I just couldn't find a non bugged version. This is great. This is going very smooth, right? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Why am I a cube? You're supposed to be a robot. I had to find a completely different version. <laughs> Why? The other one, false advertising. Holy shoot, dude. You think I'm cool enough for upside down stuff? Ah, ah. Was dry out just the warm up? Okay, I'm so, ooh. Yeah, just skip that. You can skip some of those, which is nice. That's the, that's the beauty of the robot, right? You can skip some otherwise, like, pretty tough jumps. Whew. Yes! Base after base, so much fun. Better than buggy dry out. Wow. Can't let go robot. Let's do this. Can't let go. I love can't let go. But, man, the ending of this level is going to be bananas on the robot. Like, when you're upside down and you got to do, like, all those, like, jump rings, timings and stuff. Yeah, this is, this is, this is going to start being a real challenge really soon. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard. The end of this level is gonna be so hard. That upside down dark portion, this part's not gonna be so bad. A few inches later. 
But never mind. Wow. Ooh, man, that's hard. Please, no more. Those one block gaps are killing me. No. Another. Okay, please. Let's let's have this be the attempt. I love these ship sections are like nice, like little breaks. Oh, they're so good. So kind. Man, this final section. I'm so scared, guys. Holy. I, I, I'm in focus mode. Oh. <gasps> I might have to practice that. Okay, I had to practice this to actually make sure it was possible. It's That's really hard. There's another way down here, which might be like a coin way normally. Or maybe it's just there because that actually is impossible, you know? No, the normal way is possible. <laughs> it's so hard, though. Okay, I just checked. That is like an actual legit coin path. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm totally taking the coin path. I mean, you already got to go through like so many hard jumps here. Like getting between these one block gaps. Oh, ha, ha. That like, man, having like that 10% chance at the end of actually making those jumps is like, that's ridiculous. Go down. Yeah, coin path, baby. Oh, I almost died there. I did almost didn't jump high enough. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. There's still like some hard jumps coming up like that. Yo, yo, come on. End, end level, end level. Oh, oh my God. It's getting so ridiculously hard already. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be this hard already. And the next level's jumper. It's going to give a whole new meaning to the name Jumper because I'm literally, as a cube, you do jump, but as a, wow, why is it going so slow? There we go. Jeez, I wonder why that one was going so slow. Maybe <laughs> it's it's probably hard. That's why. And that was like an easy, like uh, jumping one. Oh my God. This is going to be. <laughs> Dudes, it's. I'm going to need a goddamn miracle to get through here in like uh, just why did it what's I think actually the pink jump pads are put in places where there is normally yellow jump pads. I mean, like I remember these levels, but I don't remember them like one for one. I don't remember exactly everything in them, you know, like every single jump pad. We'll just take we'll just take everything normally. Yada yada. OK, ship. <laughs> that was close. Dude, you have to go the coin path. You have to. There's no choice. I mean, is it a coin path? It might just be an optional path because like the normal way is broken. Like there's got to be just like something that, that goes on with the robot. Like the robot falls slower than the cube. So some parts just naturally break or something. I mean, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, clearly there is some jank in some of these levels. Oh, that's so hard. Holy shoot. Oh. Oh my god. This is absolutely bananas. Thank god I'm a ship. Yes. It's rest time, baby. It's rest time. There's still more robot. Like hard robot at the end though. Or is it? No. Yeah. 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 Come on. Ah, pretty chill, actually, compared to some of the parts early on in the level. Absolutely chill. <laughs> Yo, man. Time machine robot. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be pretty tough, too. Lyris, thank you for making these levels, by the way. Thank you. I really enjoy them. Oh, ouch. Yeah, it's it's going to get bananas. Triple spikes in close corridors so I can accidentally jump too high. Oh, yeah. Especially like the end. Man, the end of Time Machine. You remember that when it goes like all upside down and it's like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm so I'm so good at singing these songs. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, not right to left robot. Yo, yes, give me ship. Give me ship, but we're going to have to do some banana stuff coming up soon again. Okay, whatever. We're, do we're going. Ooh, those one block gaps are so brutal. 
especially when they're like different heights like that. Like that was bananas. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Woo! I was gonna die there. Okay. Okay. All sorts of portals, but we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm guessing those jump pads were necessary for some reason. Lyris, I trust you. You know what you're doing. You're a robot professional. Wow. Okay. Hardest part of the level coming up. Let's go. Yep. 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 Okay. There were some jump pads in some parts you normally jump, but maybe those jumps were impossible otherwise. So, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I accept. I accept it. I accept. Okay, the next one is Cycles. Cycles Robot. The cube is a robot and the ship is a wave. All right, let's do this. Oh, you can become a mini if you want to. That's cheating. That's absolute. It's just cheating. No way. Okay, Cycles Robot. But this is like, there's a lot of... Oh, dude, did you seriously take out a spike on the triple? No way. You giving me freebies, huh? I don't want your freebies. Wow, that's, pre that's a pretty tough jump. Okay, I guess we're not getting freebies. Maybe that wasn't originally there. I mean, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. Because everything... Ha! <laughs> a jump is actually impossible. Look at this. Oh, well, never mind. It's 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 possible, but it's very hard. You can't even touch. You gotta, like, jump through there. Oh, wow. The That's funny. The ball is a spider. Wow. Those are some hard... That's some hard spidering. That's... What? So, it doesn't even make sense. You stay on the top. Because there's no actual way to do it. Why? Why? Okay, so basically the spider section is impossible. Why wouldn't you just keep the ball there? These levels were not meant for the robot, that's for sure. It's starting to get really hard when it's like a one-to-one -one recreation, but with the robot. Like this is this is bananas, you know? That's that's bananas. Oh my god. Although now there's spider gameplay. Oh dude, it's the same thing. Hey! Just keep it as the ball. Come on, why put the spider in? Okay, so we're just gonna consider cycles done because there are actually no more robot sections. There's just another, like, there's a wave section and then a spider section. Um, So I did all the robot parts in it Um, because the rest of the parts in these cycles robot parts are kind of bad because they have like spider and wave. Like, I wish they just keep everything else normal, but have the robot versions in. Um, So we'll, we'll consider that done. Okay, X step with the robot. I'm shaking in my booty. It, does that, it does, are we already not working? X-Step Robot. <laughs> Let's try this version. Well, that works. Jeez, what is, what is wrong with some of these versions? Why do some of them work and some of them don't? Yay, we're not the spider. We're a ball, woo. Thank God. I would hate to be a spider. I hate it when it changes all the, like, the other game modes. Like, just keep it as robot, you know? Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, I probably could have just used the auto there, but I didn't. I actually jumped like a badass. Yes. Robot, robot. Like, now that the levels have the ball game mode, there's less and less robot. <laughs> so, did you seriously jump over it? What? That was actually uh, pretty easy. I think the hardest one so far was base after base. And I mean, dry out, but dry out was really bugged. Yeah, base after base and can't let go. For sure, we're like the two hardest because there's so many one block gaps you have to jump into. Jumper was pretty hard too, but not as hard as base after base or can't let go. Those were like the ultimate in challenges for robot challenges. Although we still have Clutterfunk to do. But let's do Clutterfunk robot, which the ending is gonna be insane on Clutterfunk. Oh my God, the ending. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be bananas, I think. Although there's not many like one block gaps though. The hardest thing about like can't let go and base after base were those silly one block gaps, although there was one there. But like here, oof, oof. But with the mini, I mean, <laughs> it's, it, this is, yeah. Yeah, no, this is, this is pretty tough. But not as hard as those, those silly one block gaps. Yeah, definitely not. Okay Here we go. Oh my goodness 
I got, I knew it though. It's the one block gap. Those are the hardest jumps to do as the robot. Yo, and that's why base after base is a nightmare and can't let go. Yep. Oh, how am I still alive? Oh my God, that was so hard. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's, this is the ultimate challenge day. The climax of this challenge is certainly Clutterfunk. Oh. oh, that's so hard. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Those precise jumps where there's one block gaps and like, in base after base, there's one block gaps, but usually you don't like fall and then have to jump. You just jump into them, fall down, and then jump into another one. This one, they're like all at different heights. So you have to measure everything as the robot, like as you're falling and jumping and falling off the screen and then jumping right away. Wow, that was the final challenge. All right. I think this challenge is much more interesting for the first 11 levels from Stereo Madness to Clutterfunk. Uh, the hardest levels overall, Clutterfunk was extremely hard and can't let go. The end of it was extremely hard. And base after base, some of those type, there's so many one block jumps. That was also hard. And jumper was hard as well. If you have any other ideas for like challenges like this you want me to do, let me know in the comment section and I will consider it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're not subbed, go ahead and sub. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.